I think it will be interesting. Good morning, if you're just joining us. Just gone 8am on this Thursday morning. And joining me now is the Prime Minister, Liz Truss. Good morning, Prime Minister. Good morning. Good How morning. are you? How are you doing? Have you slept well? I, I have. Thank you very much. And it's great to be here on Radio Radio Leeds. I am really glad that you are here as well, because since Friday, since your Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng's mini budget, the pound has dropped to a record low. The IMF has said that you should reevaluate your policies. And the Bank of England has had to spend £65 billion to prop up the markets because of what they describe as a material risk. Where have you been? No one can deny you enter Downing Street with a difficult job on your hands, but you've made the situation worse so far, haven't you? Well, let's remember the situation we were facing when I entered Downing Street. I am of the view that we need to have local consent uh, to proceed with projects like fracking. Uh, I also support that for housing. What I want is, and this is why we're setting up new investment zones across the country, with local support to get the economy going, to get investment into our country. And the same is true for energy projects as well. Let's talk about local consent right now. What does that look like? Scott Benton, the Conservative MP for Blackpool South, in a tweet says he believes that people in Blackpool South do not support fracking. This is the Tory MP for Fylde. Mark Menzies in the House of Commons. If the Prime Minister is to remain a woman of her word, a woman that we can believe in, which I believe she is, can the Secretary of State outline how that local consent will be given and demonstrated in my constituency of Fylde? What does local consent look like, Prime Minister? Well, I, the, the, the Energy Secretary will be laying out uh, in more detail exactly what that looks like, but it does me mean making sure there is local support for for going ahead and it, i can it, assure it sounds you, like you don't and I can know assure, and i can assure mark menzies well there are there are various detailed issues to be worked through but i can assure mark menzies that i will make sure there is local consent if we are to go ahead in any particular area with fracking but your local mps don't want it all conservative in the past the county council have said they didn't want it, yet your government overturned it. The science hasn't changed. Why can't you tell us this morning there won't be a return to fracking in Lancashire? Well, I don't, I don't accept the premise of your question. Uh, Why? It's certainly the case at present. Uh, well, because what I've said is if there is local consent, we will go ahead. We need to explore where there is local consent and where there isn't. Time is short, so I'm going to just blaze on into the questions. Lots from my listeners this morning. Carrie in Birchington says, what on earth were you thinking? The country was already in a state of recession. And another says, how can we ever trust the Conservatives with our economy again? And Lydia says, are you ashamed of what you've done? Are you? I think we have to remember what situation this country was facing. We were going into the winter with people... Uh, expected to face fuel bills of up to £6,000, huge rates of inflation. And you've made it worse. But also slowing, slowing economic growth. And what we've done is we've taken action to make sure that from this weekend, people won't be paying a typical fuel bill of more than £2,500, not just this year, but also next year. But isn't that cancelled that out by the fact inflation. that you've made, you're making inflation work with the measures that you have brought in on Friday in the mini budget? People are worried about their mortgages and they're tearing their hair out over their pensions. I've got so many messages, Liz. We've also taken action to reduce our tax burden and spur Yeah, but pr Prime Minister, with projects, respect, that so is we the same scripted answer you've given going. to every BBC local radio station this morning. You've got the Bank of England stepping in now to try and clean up a mess, a government has caused. That has never happened. We have a very, very difficult economic global situation because of the war that Vladimir Putin has perpetrated in Ukraine and countries are under pressure around well, but the this world. Isn't, course, this isn't Putin. This isn't just about Putin. I mean, your Chancellor on Friday opened up the stable door and spooked the horses so much you can almost see the economy being dragged behind them. This is about Putin and the war in Ukraine. That is why we so are. So the Bank of England's intervention yesterday crisis. was the fault of Vladimir Putin, was it? 
The average salary in Stoke-on-Trent is £25,000. Under your tax cuts, the lowest income households will save £22.12. The richest households will gain almost an extra £10,000 a year. How is that fair? How are you going to win the seats in Stoke-on-Trent? I want the average salary in Stoke to go up. My policies are all about making sure that average salaries go up and we have a growing and productive economy. And you don't get a growing and productive economy by putting taxes up. That's a reality. Often, you get more revenue with lower taxes because it attracts more growth, it attracts more people into work, it attracts more investment. And what my policies are about is about delivering for places like Stoke in the long term, delivering the investment, delivering the higher wage jobs. That's what I want to do. And too often, tax policy has just been seen as being about distribution. It's not. It's also about how we grow the size of the pie so that everyone can benefit. By borrowing more and putting our mortgages up. So I, I just want to to tell you, because a lot of people have been getting in touch with us, uh, Liz, about what they would ask you um, if they were here. Uh, there, there's lots of people in West Yorkshire who were struggling. Have a listen to Lee. We met him at a food bank here in West Yorkshire. This is what he had to say. If it weren't for the food bank, I wouldn't be able to feed my children and myself. I'm just at the amount where I can't claim any help whatsoever. And then you get the small pay rises and then everything just goes up. Not only am I working hard, harder than ever at work, prices of everything going up as electric and gas bills are going to go through the roof soon. I have a wife who suffers with mental illness as it is and it, 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 it's quite it, it's quite hard. You, you try to cope on the outside, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really well, to be honest with you. That's quite heartbreaking to listen to, Prime Minister. What would you say to people like Lee? And there are lots of them listening in West Yorkshire right now. Well, the the issues that Lee raises and, you know, is clearly, clearly very, very difficult for people. It's very difficult for Lee. But the issue he raises, like inflation, the package that we put forward on energy is going to reduce or likely to reduce inflation by up to 5%. Uh, the action we've taken on energy bills will mean that Lee and other people living in West Yorkshire aren't going to be facing energy pills of £6,000, which is what was forecast. On one hand, you're saying uh, you don't like the package. On the other hand, you're saying people need a more energy support. I mean, <laughs> the reason well, I don't that think we I, don't think any, I don't think anyone is difficult. objecting, Prime Minister, to the energy support that you announced. I think what people are worried about is the tax cuts that were announced for the wealthy primarily on Friday, which first of all people think are unfair, because if you're going to have that level of public spending required, shouldn't it be spent in other areas? And secondly, it spooked the markets. Borrowing has shot up. I thought you believed in sound money. I thought you believed in low levels of borrowing. That's what you said when you were part of David Cameron's government. Or have you changed your mind on that, like you did about Brexit? I do believe in sound money. Uh, I would point out that interest rates are going up around the world. The Federal Reserve has raised interest rates. This is a global phenomenon. But what, what we need to do, and we had the highest tax burden for 70 years, and we've reduced taxes across the board. And in a lot of cases, it's simply not raising taxes, as we've done on corporation tax. But what we are doing is we are making sure that taxes are lower. Your Chancellor, I don't think we should rule out the whole okay. of Lancashire. You talked about how it's a success in other countries. But in America, they do it in the middle of nowhere. Do you actually know where Preston New Road is, where they have been fracking? Well, I don't, I, I don't think I've been to that site in the past. Shouldn't you? Well, as I've said, we will only go ahead with projects where there is local consent. I'm very, very clear about that.